My kids love carving pumpkins for Halloween, but this is a difficult activity to do in the classroom. So today I'm going to show you how to design a digital pumpkin carving activity with Google Slides. Hi, my name is John Sawash. I help teachers and students use Google products in the classroom. Today, we're starting with a blank Google slide presentation, and I'm going to add a spooky Halloween background. So I just went to insert image, and I'm using the um, Google image search right from within slides. Got to find a good Halloween um, theme uh, image, drag that in there and resize it to fit uh, the canvas. Next up, we're going to add some text, and uh, I'm inserting word art. So if you go to insert word art, you'll see uh, that option. Um, word art allows you to do a little bit more with the design, so you can fill and add a border in your word art. That just makes it pop off the background a little bit. Um, I only do this for you know titles and headings, um, uh, things like that. Next up, we're going to design the pumpkin. So I start by adding just a circle, filling that with orange. We'll go ahead and add a little stem to our pumpkin. That way it looks like a pumpkin, not just a orange circle. And uh, to make again, to make that pumpkin stand out from the background, um, I'm going to add a dark um, border around the pumpkin that'll just uh, give a little more contrast against uh, the background. Now you can design and tweak um, this activity based on the age of your students. Um, eventually, we're going to be providing students with a series of shapes, triangles, circles, etc., that they can drag to carve their pumpkin. And so right now, I'm just adding a little uh, placeholder where those shapes will go. And you can see I have a little transparency on that. It's a custom color uh, that allows uh, the background to show through. Now, I don't want my students to be able to edit or delete the pumpkin, the text, or that placeholder. So I just downloaded everything that I just created as an image, and then I'm re-uploading it to Google Slides as the background. So now all, everything you see on the screen is uh, locked and students won't be able to edit. We're going to add the parts we do want them to be able to manipulate, starting with some shapes. So I'm just adding in a couple of triangles. These can be used as eyes or noses. And I am going to duplicate them a whole bunch of times. And then we're using the Arrange menu to stack those shapes on top of each other. This uh, creates what I call an infinite object. So students are able to drag one of those circles or triangles uh, from the left side of the screen onto the pumpkin, and then there's another one underneath. So they effectively can just add more and more uh, depending on how they want to carve their pumpkin. Um, the insert shape menu has all kinds of uh, interesting shapes that you can use, and I'm just giving students uh, some various options uh, to consider. Um, I discovered last year that adding some yellow shapes um, makes your pumpkin look like it has a candle inside of it. So if you use the black shapes, it looks like there's darkness in there. If you use the yellow ones, uh, then it looks like it's uh, illuminated. So students can pick uh, either one. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is use the polyline tool to create a custom shape. And this is a uh, much more of a traditional pumpkin carving experience. The polyline tool allows you to uh, create a new pivot point every time you click the mouse. If jagged teeth aren't your thing, you can also create a curved line. Um, if you go to the insert menu and then down to line, you'll see a variety of options. Right now, I'm using the curve tool uh, to create more of a, a subtle curving line line for the mouth. Um, I am providing students with these shapes that they can drag onto the pumpkin, but for older students, you might omit this part entirely and allow them to use these various tools to design their own shapes. Um, and I'm actually going to do that. You know, if you're teaching elementary for some students, you can provide them with the shapes. And for older students, uh, you might determine that they can handle um, adding their own. And so I'm going to provide some instructions on how to use the line tools uh, to create their own custom shapes. All right, we're just about done here. Uh, there's a couple of final things that I need to do. What you see on your screen right now is going to become my teacher template. So I'm going to save this as my original. If I ever want to come back and make changes or improvements to it, I will edit that teacher 
template. I'm then going to make a copy of the teacher template. I'll call it student. And that's the one that I will assign to my students through Google Classroom. Now, if you remember, there are two slides here. The first one can be edited. So I'm going to delete that first slide on the student template and then make copies of the remaining slide. And then I'll use Google Classroom to distribute this file to my students. Happy pumpkin carving. I hope you enjoyed designing this activity for your students. For more videos like this, check out this playlist up here. If you'd like to join me for a comprehensive online course on designing projects like this using Google Docs, Slides, Sheets, Forms, and Jamboard, check out Design with Drive, my online course over here.